Pari Devi Mandal is 17 and is a mother of two. Her husband Sanjeev Mandal is 18. When they were just 13 and 14, their parents came together and arranged their marriage. In Sakhara, this village in southeast Nepal, it's normal for children to be married early. I knew I was getting married, but I didn't know what it meant, Pari remembers. Her husband says, I didn't know I was getting married. My parents got me married. Now, four years later, Sanjeev is still angry at his father. His father says he arranged the marriage in line with traditional ideas. It is our culture. Our society expects us to get our children married early. Both Pari and Sanjeev had to quit school after marriage. Sanjeev is now supporting his young family by working as a ticket collector on the rural bus service. What is at the bottom of it is uh, traditional belief, uh, cultural practices and uh, existing gender inequality. So, uh, you know, that definitely needs to be tackled and that, that does take time, you know, I mean, for anywhere, but, it, you know, that change can take place. Nepal has one of the worst rates of child marriages in the world. According to UNICEF, 41% of girls are married before their 18th birthday, even though under Nepali law since 2002, the legal minimum age for marriage is 18. Statistics suggest that four out of every five girls in this district of Saptari get married before the age of 18. Now parents as well as the children seem to understand that it's illegal, but social pressures are so high that even activists who want to lodge complaints against these child marriages face the pressures themselves. We found Pushpa Jha, a 14-year-old who married 25-year-old Bansi Jha. Their marriage has given rise to the only court case brought this year in this district. Pushpa's mother has taken her own parents to court after they arranged a marriage for their underage granddaughter. Pushpa insists she's 18 and there are no documents to prove her age. <laughs> I married because I fell in love. My mother is a bad woman, she says. The human rights activists who sponsor this court case have to tread warily. Even the police are hesitant to take action against people, especially those who are politically connected. The rich get away with impunity. It's only the poor and the powerless end up getting caught. Nepal aims to end child marriage by the year 2030 and is even hosting the Girl Summit in Kathmandu this year. But back in the villages, many girls are still getting married early, all in the name of honor and culture. Subina Shreshta, Al Jazeera, Saptari District, Southeast Nepal.